How's everybody doing? Okay, so I know I haven't been making content on YouTube lately this year or last year. 20, 2020 was a rough year for everybody, but this year we're going to come in with a bang. We've got a bunch of new content coming up. Uh, we've got NTW, which is Nitrous the World. So we are throwing nitrous on anything and everything that we can. I've got uh, a, uh, a Phantom Nitrous Kit or Phoenix Nitrous Kit or something like that uh, from Nitrous Oxide. And we're going to be throwing it on everything. So we've got the BMW, we've got the Chevy truck, we've got everything. We've got Mustangs, all that. We're going to throw nitrous on all that. Uh, we got neon and stuff like that we're going to throw nitrous on. Plus a couple of side-by-sides. So, we got that coming. I've got more content coming with the turbocharged, twin turbocharged GT350. I am doing a full review and a full breakdown of exactly what that car has in it and all the goods and bads of running a system like I have. So we've got that as well. We have a, uh, a Mustang Bullet uh, build coming on the channel. We've got a turbocharged YXZ that I am building for the channel. Um, we have a couple of rock bouncers that we're gonna want to do, and everything. Just a bunch of, just a bunch of good content that's coming up this year, and it is going to be starting extremely soon. First thing of order is going to be Mondays. Mondays I will be posting videos from Matco Tools. So I've got my dealer, Max. He is a retired master mechanic. And he had retired from being a technician. And he decided that he wanted to start selling tools. He, would, he went ahead and went with Maco Tools, uh, a company that I enjoy. The reason being is because he is honest. He tells you what tools are good and what tools are bad. So I really like dealing with Max. So every single Monday, we are going to have Maco Mondays, is what I'm going to call it. So we've got Maco Mondays. He's going to go ahead and recommend his top tool for the week. His number one pick. Now, his number one pick can be tools that are great for a beginner mechanic, tools that are great for a master mechanic, and tools that are great for just the home mechanic at home. Tools that you might want to just go ahead and keep around. So, with that being said, every Monday we're going to go ahead and do a tool review on his truck. And I will be posting that up every Monday and getting you guys some content there along with showing you the progress on the twin turbocharged 1000 horsepower GT350 the 2 to 300 horsepower turbocharged YXZ we've got the 1000 horsepower F250 white rhino and then we're going to have the 700 to 800 horsepower bullet that's going to be coming on the channel as well so we've got quite a bit of content there but since we're talking about this new video that I'm coming up with on Mondays, Maco Mondays, I'm going to go ahead and start this review off with a tool that I find is extremely useful. So I will be right back, right after I get the tool. All right, well, I am back, and what I have here are, it is the two-piece spring Crowfoot wrench set. Okay. Part number SMCFSLM2. Now, I really do like this tool here. This is absolutely perfect for keeping inside your vehicle, actually. This right here is a good tool for your truck. You can keep it in your side by sides and everything, especially off-road, side-by-sides. I love going off-road in my UTVs, my YXZ, my Polaris uh, RZR, my wife's Polaris RZR, and the Pioneer. Absolutely love this tool here because it is a universal tool. So all you need is this and a ratchet. So you got your 3 eighths and your half-inch. 
okay? What I find really good about this is most cheap socket sets, which I highly recommend carrying a cheap socket set, whether it's, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be too cheap. Stanley's a pretty good company, Craftsman and stuff like that. Get yourself a, a good socket set. With those cheap socket sets, they never come with wrenches. They just don't come with wrenches. So what's the best thing to do? Get yourself something like this. So you're going to take it out. So right here is the 3 8 okay? And look at that. And it's kind of meant to be a ratchet as well. But what you do, you got your bolt here. So you've already got your socket and everything on there. And now you need something to hold the nut or whatever. That simply just fits right in there. Just like that. So that fits in and it grabs it. So you've got your pull back and then as soon as you start putting tension on it, as soon as you start putting tension on it, she's turning. Look at the grip that it's got. It's got good, it's got th at least three good corners there of grip on this crow's foot. Simply just attach your ratchet to it and you're good to go. You can unloosen things and loosen things. All you have to do is flip this around. So for the 3H drive, it goes from 5 sixteenths to 11 sixteenths or from eight millimeter all the way up to seven millimeter. Okay, Let's see if we can get this thing to focus here. Not wanting to focus, but anyway, this right here goes from eight to 17, five sixteenths to 11 sixteenths. Awesome tool to have. And then of course, if it's bigger than a 17, you know, so let's say the arm bolts came loose on the UTV. This is a good tool to have. You need to change a ball joint out real quick. This is a really good tool to have. So you don't have a... The one thing that's stressful being off-road is carrying a bunch of extra stuff that you really don't need. Obviously, you need snatch blocks, winch, tree savers. But if you're carrying a bunch of tools with you, it, it becomes a headache uh, in case you roll on your side and stuff like that, you always have to recover all the things that fell out of your UTV. So if you can minimalize the stuff that you have on board with you, it'd be great. Now, you go into the half-inch drive. This is the big guy. Love this guy right here. It goes all the way from 9 sixteenths to an inch and a quarter. Look at that. And it goes from a 14. It goes from a 14 to a 32 millimeter. That's nuts. That's insane. Look at look at that grip there. So you can have a bolt like this, okay? An A-arm bolt that goes inside your UTV. You simply just grab the back of that, clamp that in, like so. And look at that. You got yourself a nice grip there. You know? It's definitely a tool worth getting. Because, I mean, I can't turn that because it's got that nice bite there. This is from Mako Tools here. Highly recommend grabbing a set of these to throw inside your truck. Throw the set of these inside your truck. Throw a set of these inside your UTV, whatever. You'd only have to buy one set. Only one set. You keep it inside your truck, and then when you're ready to go off-roading... You take this from your truck inside your glove box because it'll fit right inside your glove box. You don't even have to have the box. Just have these two things. As soon as you get ready to go off-road, you throw these in the glove box or you, of your UTV. You throw your ratchet in there because you already got your ratchet because you've already got a set of small sockets and everything. And then there you go. These two tools right here I recommend very highly, very, very highly. It keeps things to a minimum, and they actually do work. These guys actually work. They've got a lifetime warranty, and I've been using the heck out of these things, and they are really good. I really do enjoy these. So like I said, my recommendation for this week, my recommendation for this week, 
There will be another video uploaded today as well, and that's going to be Max's review on a subject. But for me, this week, my favorite tool here is the wrench, the spring crowfoot wrench set. I love it. It's great. It works great. Lifetime warranty. You can't beat it. You can't beat these. I mean, I with these two things, I've got everything from an 8 millimeter to a 32 millimeter. Just these two. Look, look at how small these are. Put these inside your pocket here. You know, they're that small. 8 to 32. If that isn't an awesome tool, I don't know what is. But I'm telling you. My honest review on these, they work great. They're perfect for having inside the UTV. Stay tuned. Okay, guys? Like I said, I know videos haven't been coming up on the channel lately, but I'm telling you, promising you, stay tuned. I know the hair is getting long, the beard's getting long, and everything like that. But stay tuned for a bunch of good content that's coming to the channel. We have so much that we're working on. We're trying to do better at editing and making videos and stuff, but stay tuned because we're going to have some awesome, awesome stuff this year. And we'll have plenty of cars and coffees here at the local shop at ACA Automotive here in Kokomo, Indiana as well. So keep an eye out for that. We have cars and coffee here and everything and you get to see a lot of cool cars here so if you're inside the area kokomo indiana you can always stop by for cars and coffees on saturdays and we will catch you guys later stay tuned you guys have yourselves a great day